Hello, welcome to Ready API, an integrated suite of applications for API testing. When you test a web service, you may need to send files to it. In this video, we will show you how to attach a file to a REST request. In general, there are several ways to pass files to a service. Depending on the server, it may handle one type and not understand others. Before sending a request, reference documentation to the service API to learn which data type it consumes. The first way is sending files in a multi-part message. The content type of these messages are multi-part form data or multi-part mixed. In this case, data in the request is divided into several parts and each part contains a separate file or data. The second way is sending a file in the request body. The content type of the request will indicate the file type. Let's see how to do it in Ready API. Here is a sample post request that uploads a file to our test pet store service. This request contains three parameters. The pet ID is a template parameter that provides the service with an ID of a pet to which you upload an image. The additional metadata parameter specifies a string description of the sent image. The file parameter specifies the image to upload. To attach a file to this request, open the attachments panel and click this button. Ready API asks if you want to cache the file. When you click yes, Ready API stores the attachment in the project file. The size of the project increases, but when you send the project to another person, you do not need to send the file with it. The attachment is included. If you click no, Ready API stores the absolute paths of the file in the project and will read the file from disk each time you send a request. The panel shows basic information about the attached files, their names, content type, and size. Let's send multi-part requests. There are two most used multi-part media types, multi-part form data and multi-part mixed. If a real client application uses an HTML form, most likely the service requires data in the multi-part form data media type. Otherwise, the service may require a request of the multi-part mixed media type. See the documentation of your web service to learn which media type it consumes. Our service requires a request with multi-part form data, so we select this media type. Also, you need to select the post query string option to send query parameters in the request body rather than the URL. To associate the attached image with the file parameter, specify the name of the parameter in the content ID column. In this column, you specify the name of the form field or the name of the parameter to which the file is supposed to be attached. Now, if we send our request, Ready API will send metadata and the file content in individual request parts. Another way to assign a file to a parameter is to type the word file followed by a colon and the name of the file you want to attach. The advantage of this method is the possibility of attaching files directly from the file system without adding them to the attachments panel. You can specify here the absolute path to the file, but if you share your project with your team, the absolute path will be broken, so it is better to use a relative path. This expression means that the required file is in the same directory as the project file. Now let's see how to send a single file as a non-multi-part request. Here is a request to the Google Drive service. To perform a simple upload, the upload type parameter must be set to media, and the media type of the request must specify the content type of the file to upload. When you send the request, its content type is image PNG, and the service handles the file correctly. This was basic information on how to send attachments when you test REST services. Check out our other videos on request parameters, transferring data, and more. Thank you for watching.